Welcome back, you guys. Total knee replacements in the United States are expected to increase 673 percent by 2030. So as part of their ongoing efforts to provide world class care in our community, Tucson Orthopedic Institute and TMC are proud to be the first in the city to offer new technology, which transforms the way total knee replacements are actually performed. Dr. Russell Cohen is here to tell us more about the benefits of this newly available robotic technology and actually its impact on the patients. Doctor, this is actually super exciting news. It sure is. It's new technology in the total knee arena that's, I think, going to be a game changer for the long term. So tell me what it's called and what it does. Well, Mako is the brand of the uh, robot. It's been around for quite a while doing partial knees and then it's been around for a little less time for total hips. But in January of this year, it basically became available to people for knee replacement surgery to help us finesse the, the operation. The operation doesn't, in its basic form, change a whole lot, but how we put the implants in, how we balance the soft tissue and the ligaments, we now have the ability to map out an individual's knee before we have a start. So a CT scan gets done beforehand. We know the characteristics of a patient's knee. We then make a preoperative plan uh, for size, for alignment. Then during the operation, we do some things to uh, register basically the knee with the uh, implants balance the way the soft tissues are going to come out when we're done before we ever make a bony cut. Wow. The soft tissue success really people think about is just cutting the bones which is what we do but a good and a well done total knee has well balanced soft tissues and the ability of the Mako to, to do that and then the robot to come in and actually make those cuts to within a very precise level of, uh, of precision is, is just unfounded. It's brand new technology. Well, we're looking at these pictures of it. It just looks awesome, let alone everything that you are saying that it can do. And I mentioned off the top, we're so lucky that, you know, we have this here and available sure. for us to use. Kind of give us, you know, on the patient side, we're, we're hearing what it can do, but what is really that direct impact that makes a difference for them versus the old manual? Well, what I've been seeing with my initial, you know, we haven't been doing it that long. Yeah. So what I see now is the next morning coming in to see patients. I actually had a fair number of patients that I've done with the old technique or the manual instruments now doing it with the robot. And uh, they just feel that there's a definite difference. And I think the soft tissue not being in conflict, changing the alignment of things from what they've lived with their whole life to now putting it in in a much smoother fashion. They can get their knee bending quicker. They can get up and move uh, with less discomfort. And so hopefully it'll make their recovery time less. I think it's too soon for us to make those statements yet. Yeah. But certainly I'm seeing in the very early stages, patients seem to respond very well. And I know you said that we had used this before for partial right. and, and for hips. And what are we, where does it kind of fall into place when we're talking about joint replacement? So this is joint replacement. Yeah. It's just being done with far more precision. Yeah. Uh, I started using it for my hip replacements in October. Yeah. I've done lots of hip replacements over the year, but over the years. But with the Mako, it's again, it's helped get me to a different level that I could never do before. That Super is precise. So amazing. And so we're basically, you know, we're we're giving people more options, and and we love to hear the advancements that are are happening. So can people come in and actually start? asking questions and seeing if this is something Absolutely. they can Absolutely. People already are, and yeah. it's the same basic principle, though. You have to try conservative things. You have to be diagnosed with an arthritic knee. It has to be at that level where you need a joint replacement. And then to be able to use this technology in the surgery and part of the preoperative plan and then the intraoperative execution of that plan, uh, I think patients are going to gravitate eventually in, in larger numbers as we get more technology assessment and results. Um, most of the things we do in life that are handled by a robot are done more efficiently. You know, surgeons, we try and be as precise as we can. Can't be as precise as a robot, though. You know, and uh, I think that's why we sit down and talk about this, so people know what's available, what can help them. And this happens to be National Arthritis Awareness Month. This all kind of falls into alignment. Sure. Uh, but before I let you go, do you maybe have some advice uh, for some people that might be struggling through that? Well, I think what I see in general is people stay away from orthopedic surgeons and having their knees replaced because it generally has a fairly bad reputation for the recovery. You know, people dread that recovery. They hear from their friends. And uh, it's not as bad as people think it is. Uh, we don't quite do what people perceive we do. And I think with the Mako and with the technology to be able to do it more precisely, maybe a little bit less invasively in the surgical approach, people should probably be seen sooner rather than some of the patients that just wait and, and bypass great years of their life living in pain. At least it's worth an evaluation and, and then non-surgical options for surgery is always the last resort. 
definitely the long-term advantage is well worth. Uh, and if we have something like this available, take advantage of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. We're so lucky to have it right here in our own backyard. Why not go ask the right question, see if it's right for you. And uh, I'm, I'm actually really excited to maybe sit down with you again later and see you know, sure. how the patients have kind of uh, said this is a big difference for them. Doctor, thank you so it. much. I just learned so much. Good. Thank you so much. Thanks for having that us. That was great. To learn more about knee replacement, find a location, or for more information, you can visit TucsonOrtho.com.